here we go then. In pole position is Jack Harding in car number eight. On the front row with him, Jay Elliott. On the second row, Darren Taylor. Are we going round again? Yes, we are. No, we're not. We're racing. Who'll get the whole shot? That went green rather late. Harding's got the whole shot. Teal's gone through on his bumper. Jay Elliott has moved into third. Joe Holmes in fourth and looking for a way by. Somehow he's managed to squeeze through there. As Teal's got the lead and Harding's gone backwards. Down to third. That's Dan Healy down the inside of Jay Elliott. It's frantic stuff. I suspect there could be some penalties here. Sweeping through the long left hand of flat out. Five into six, down on the brakes, over the hump, into seven. Through the switchback of eight. Oh, that's looking fairly agricultural. Well, it is that time of year, and we are in East Anglia, breadbasket of the UK. I haven't been rehearsing that one, that's just come to me. So, out of the last corner. And indeed, there is a penalty, and it's for cart number four. Not sure who that is, it's not up front. Camera work goes awry. We pick up the lead now. Joe Holmes has pushed through Darren Teal. And he leads. Harding to the inside, can't get it done. Cart number nine is Dan Healy. Cart number two is Jay Elliott. And they're hard on the bumper of Jack Harding. Gap then to Martin, who's got ahead of... James Hattersley, just learned that race suit. And it's Holmes leading out Teal. Harding fending off Jay Elliott, who's trying to line him up for turn one, I think. Gotta be careful, he's got Healy. Hard on his buffer. Has to go narrow to dissuade Healy from throwing it down the inside. I think Teal may have uh, been slow out of turn one. Giving Harding a chance to close back in. And we're back. Oh, power, power, power. If it's not one thing, it's another. So, down on the brakes. It's Healy. Oh, I think that looked like a shortcut. The battle is on for second, and Holmes is well clear. And it's a six, seven card dice for second place that Elliot has moved to the head of. It's Hattersley in 11. Teal on the outside, he's probably going to lose out to Hattersley. And also to Dan Healy. Can he hang on? He's run wide. Where's he coming back on? Ooh! That looks a bit risky. Anyway, Elliot second. Hattersley, Healy, Harding. Martin. That's Ian Blake. Oh, Brown leans in on Teal now. Oh, and he's uh, not surprisingly a little bit upset with the treatment. <laughs> and it certainly is treatment. He's still going. Listener now has gone through. Going to get that back. Run deep. Possibly be under pressure again by the time they get to uh, turn one. Your race leader is now three and a half seconds clear. He'll probably skip through the bottom of the shot there he goes that's joe holmes second place jay elliott dan healy making third his own for now Hattersley. here comes harding in his tony cart suit down the inside and there's more contact 
He's gone through, but they're losing ground, shipping it rapidly. It's the shipping it rapidly to the pair ahead. So first, first is fairly settled, I reckon. Joe Holmes is going to win heat number three. Should put him well up for the final. Martin now working on the bumper of James Hattersley with Ian Blake and Steve Brown in close attendance. There's a penalty for cart number one, that is Brown. So the champion has got a penalty. Hattersley side by side with Martin. Blake pushing through as well. Here comes Brandon Williams. Had a good run in. Heat number two. He's trying to run through heat number three if he can. Let's see a quick check of what's happening up front. There's Elliot ahead of Healy. Then it's Harding. Then this battle for fourth place. Fifth place, I should say. Behind James Hattersley. Finally got some semblance of order here as it settles down in what kind of it say is a bit of a scrum. So there's your race leader, Joe Holmes. We're uh, one and a half minutes from the finish. We're looking for second place, Jay Elliott in cart two, Dan Healy cart three, Jack Harding is solid in fourth place. Hattersley and Blake now side by side, and Blake's got the spot. And the shake of the head from Hattersley suggests he's not too pleased. And I don't think that will be with Blake. Maybe it's with uh, Stuart Martin. Perhaps he's done the pair of them, Ian Blake. Done the pair. That is these left ruining ruin the situation. Here comes Martin again. Oh, that looked clumsy. Not his best. So Hattersley is clear now for a while as Brandon Williams tries to hold off Steve Brown. Martin's just been restarted. There's Holmes. Is he going to get another lap, or is this it? One more lap for the race leader. <coughs> Jay Elliott in second. Oh, big bump there. Over which Dan Healy just went, just on the outside. New tarmac, I think, has been laid in places here. Whether or not that's a bit that needs to be uh, levelled. So, J. Elliott second, Dan Healy third, Jack Harding fourth. Fifth place is now Ian Blake. Brandon Williams is going to have to hold off James Hattersley for sixth place to the finish. Out of the last quarter, Joe Holmes wins heat number three to put him well up on the grid for the final of the elite class. Jay Elliott finishes second ahead of Dan Healy. Jack Harding fourth, Ian Blake fifth, James Hattersley has lost out to Brandon Williams at the finish. He finishes in sixth place, Hattersley seventh, Steve Brown with a penalty in eighth, Jonathan Listener, Dan Truman. Rounds out the top ten, but I suspect that's not the actual finishing order because there's a few more penalties to come, I fear.